Greetings and welcome, welcome both pilots of the Naropa Corporation for to another episode of Let's Play Metal Fatigue. Right. Let's be a little bit more talkative this time around. Jonas achieved the decisive victory he sought at Ice Sanctuary. As hoped for, he was indeed proclaimed again to be a hero to the masses and promoted to the rank of Vice Commander. But just as Jonas began to plan his escape from Europa, he also was summoned before the Grand Inquisition and the Theocracy itself. Ooh. Yeah. Damn it. Ah oh, well. Considering the structure bonus I'm gonna get, losing three points on the alien attack enhance, which I should have gotten if that bloody bomber didn't get in the way. Oh well. Upheavals in the Cobb family of Milagro had resulted in a list of Milagro spies being released to Neuropa. Komrov was the most influential name on the list. Komrov had provided Milagro with Neuropan secrets for years, including the latest orbital weapons technology. He was a traitorous heretic, but he had fled before the Inquisitors could arrest him. The Theocracy informed Jonas that he was best suited to stop Komrov from escaping. Feeling betrayed by the man he had come to trust as a friend, Jonas declared he would kill Komrov on the condition that he would be allowed to leave Neuropa and return to Earth. To his surprise, they agreed. Vanquish Komrov before he escapes. Yeah, I have an hour. All right. Jonas must survive. The sniper laser arm is the most advanced in open ranged combat weapon. Well, we'll see about that. I mean, I've not actually seen it effectively used in action yet. We also get the snake, the, the tectonic torpedo turret, and the orbital bomb turret. Please give me the orbital charge. All right. The personal testament of brother Jonas and Gallus. The Divine Order of Europa. Komrov was the spy. How could I have missed this? He didn't escape from Elago during the Munich 15040 uprising. They let him go. I bet it's no coincidence that Milagro attacked the Rimtech prison we were in. We were protecting Komrov. He only brought me along to make it look less suspicious than if I if he alone had escaped. I've been ordered to kill him. And why not? I don't care that he's betrayed Naropa, but he used me. I want out. And if taking out Comber will buy my freedom, so be it. Well, that's kind of a harsh tone to take, considering you're a traitor to Rimtech. But, uh, well, you're also quite mercenary. I can understand your point of view. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to sink any points in Komrov. We have so many points. Yeah, I think I broke that mission a little bit. We don't start with a base. Alright, so I have an hour. Well, let's build a matter converter. Alright, so this Jonas is in the flying mech. You got a power fist, power pull, self repair. Power pulse, electrobite, self repair. Alright, so I can agree at least to those designs. Tracer fire, homing plasma gun, laser gun. Yeah, that's alright ish. Energy is low. Yeah, all right. All right, that's another. I can't do anything anyway. Oh. 
All right, let's let's have a look around. Actually, any technology here that I need to keep an eye on? Battle on surface. All right, I can sort of see the point of that sniper rifle. Looks like we've only got one real entrance into this canyon. Kinda wish I could build more than one thing at a time. Do I have any orbital elements? I do not. Milagro, it looks like it's well entrenched. Not seeing any heat off up there, so that's fine. I get overly cocky. Battle on surface. on surface. Energy is low. A couple of these snipers in well positioned places could be very useful. Some assassins. Um, Battle on surface. Yeah, it would have been helpful if I noticed that I was actually losing power. I mean. From the way this mission is set up, I'm pretty much gathering that this is actually not a mission, a base building mission. But since they did give me vehicles, uh, I think I'm just going to take the most advantage of it as I can.
battle on surface. Energy is low. I kind of do want to pick up those bits of uh, Melancro tank, but it's not any real rush and I don't think he dropped the alien arm, so... But it is kind of neat to uh, slice an enemy in bits into bits. Give me more stuff. Because I want to be able to repair my combots a bit. Build completed. Energy is low. Alright, come on. Give me what I need. More power. Infinite power. If possible. Energy is low. Build completed.
Alright, while that is going on, let's have a look around. See if the enemy is not doing anything I don't want them to do. See if the parts are still here. Yep, still here. Energy is low. Battle on surface. Whoops. Now I definitely need some assist assistance with this. So I want to design my own combots for a bit. Not be too reliant on this. I mean, maybe I can track down Combroth. But as I don't know this mission, as I and I don't feel like wandering around in the dark. Energy is low. Which isn't a very productive means of my time anyway. Alright, let's get some extra power going. As far as the story goes, I guess, well, it didn't quite go as I thought it would. I mean, Jonas is obviously not a believer. He's still quite as mercenary as he was at the start. Which arguably makes him the person with the least amount of growth in the story, even if I didn't like Diego's particular arc all that much. At least he had an arc. You know, I could understand his motivations, more or less. Now, if I were Komrov, where would I be? Energy is low. Vehicle complete. Completed. No, it's not a very big pool, but it will suffice. Vehicle complete. Complete. 
But that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.